Hello, everybody. You're here with Claro Beauty with your host, Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I apologize I've been out for a couple of days, but it was Memorial Weekend and a rest always is welcome. But that doesn't say I didn't miss you and miss you a lot. So I hope everybody is doing well today. So what are we doing today? Uh, I got this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, there's mixed reviews about this, so I'm very curious to try it out. It's a sample, of course. And then I also have the Laura Mercier new, um, what do they call this? Blush Color Infusion, um, all the sparkles. Now, I know these ones are new. This, there's also a highlighter and there are some other blushes, but the newness about this is blush, but it has illuminating. So it's kind of a highlighted blush, but it's not the highlighter because there's another one like that. Anyhow, so I'll be trying this and other goodies. Uh, also a Pat McGrath lipstick and et cetera, et cetera. So if you're interested in this, please keep on watching. All right. So first things first, let's go into the Laura Mercier uh, Tinted Moisturizer. Now, for some reason, I think this is sort of a reformulation uh, of the beloved one. And that's where the mixed um, reviews have come from because they say they like the last one better. Now, I don't own the last one, but I did try it at some point at Sephora. And my thoughts on it, if I remember correctly, was it was too glowy for me. Uh, and what I mean by that, you know, when you put a tinted moisturizer and there's like this cream look that is supposed to be glowy or is supposed to be moisturizing for your skin and it just looks like that. I don't enjoy that look. I don't like that look. I don't mind adding like some highlight and, and sort of getting that look or like the Westman Atelier Lead Up where it kind of gives you a little highlight but I don't like the very glowy sort of look. And, and I don't like the feeling of the sticky, you know, when things are sticky. So let's stop chat, chat, chatty, and I start with this Laura Mercier moisturizer. Now I have to admit, I thought it was gonna be a little tiny bit bigger, <laughs> but I order the color light. So I'm afraid if it's gonna be too light, I think there's one, two, three, I think there's five colors on this. No, 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 there's 14 shades. And so when I order it, I was between this or two darker. This was sort of a porcelain sort of light. And then there was another one that was more for light to medium. So I was not sure, but I do know that I prefer a lighter moisturizer, a lighter color than a darker color. So instead of ordering the other one, I order the lightest. And then I thought, oh, if I like it, then I'll order a lighter, uh, darker if I need to. So, so I can already see is a little bit light. You see that? Yeah. It might be a little too light for my skin. So I don't know if the other one, although it is disappearing. So we'll see. This, uh, this one's because they are sort of a moisturizer uh, tinted. It's supposed to not be too much and it's supposed to kind of become your skin sort of thing. And that's why I'm not using a brush. I'm just applying it directly. And I have to say so far, I do like the consistency. It really feels totally like, um, like if I was applying a, a suntan lotion, but lighter. So it doesn't have that heavy stickiness, but I am feeling a little bit, uh, a little creamy consistency, if that makes sense. You know, I've mentioned this before that when I haven't filmed for a little while, I get a little bit uh, not used to <laughs> seeing myself through the camera monitor. Well, it's my phone really, but. So, so far, I should have compared it to the Airborean or something because it's like nothing. Wow, I should have put it on one side and not the other. Oh boy, 
I think I am feeling a little bit out of practice and it's only been a couple of days. So let's see here. I am. All right, so I put double the amount and I'm gonna stop now. I still see some of the red, but I do see like a blurring, like a nice sort of canvas. I do like it. There is highlight. Can you see my hands? You see that? Gives a little color. Well, you probably wouldn't know because I recognize my hand color that how it is. So I can see that that's not my hand color. It has a little yellowish tint, but you can see a little bit of the highlight. So it does have that. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels nice, um, like a good suntan lotion sort of thing, a little lighter. It didn't totally cover. So I don't think you could tell I have moisturized. I mean, I have foundation or anything, but it didn't give me a glowiness or anything like that. But it's comfortable on the skin. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. What I'm, I'm, what I'm wondering is, I like it. It doesn't feel like anything. But I wonder if it's doing anything. <laughs> I mean, a little bit, yeah. You know what? I like it. This is going to be interesting. In a very light, light sort of way, I like it. Okay. Well, like right now, I hope to put a little bit of uh, some bronzing. And I thought of the Chanel, a little creamy bronzer. I don't know why that tint of moisturizer, that's what he invited me to. But since we're going to be doing some Westman Atelier, let's continue with some of her products. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a little bit of lid up. This is what I've seen her doing lately a lot, and she kind of goes all the way under, not in there, but sort of here. I think that's a little too much, so I do go from here up and from here up. So I don't take it all the way in. I don't know why she's doing that. She says it just highlights under the eye, and that's sort of a nice thing, but for me, I like it just right here. And so this is a transparent one. So she's been doing that. And then she takes her bronzer. So, and then this is her um, powder brush. So we're going to try a little bit of this. And she goes all over. I think I'm just going to go with my normal. I mean, maybe just a little bit. But she really goes as if she's really bronzing all over. And I really like this bronzing. Although today after the tinted moisturizer, I don't know why I was called to pull out the Chanel uh, cream pa uh, bronzer. And another one that I've been hearing a lot of fuss about is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzing. For what I've seen and the swatches I've seen, I like it. I will not be ordering it because um, because I have too many bronzers. I bought the Patrick Ta, I have this one, uh, I got the Chantikai. It's just too many bronzers and I wanna actually have fun with it. So I will not, for now, because it does look like a nice bronzer and it did call my attention. But, um, but for now, we're not getting it. <laughs> So I'm going to mix a lot of products here. So I'm going to use a little bit of the roller skate. This is Victoria Beckham. And it's also new to my collection. It's not new out there. Uh, but it does give a little bit of fun. So I thought, why not? Because it's bronzing, bronzing, bronzing. And my complexion, I need a little bit uplifting with color. And that's what where this comes about. Now, one of you asked me to do concealers, best concealers, and I will do a video on that. You know, it's a scary topic. Uh, I don't like to wear a lot of concealers, but I do have 
several concealers and I will be telling you when I use what and why. Uh, but I'm not a big concealer per se, but all right. Like today, I'm not wearing any concealer. So that give a little bit of color and I'm going to finish up my eyes and I will be right back. All right, so I am back. I just apply a little bit of Victoria Beckham, the eyeliner Olive. Look how beautiful. And I fill up my eyebrows with the Westman Atelier Eyebrow Pencil Bark. I finally got it. I don't know if you guys saw my review on the product, but I had ordered clay. And clay was a little light or a little warm. They had a little bit of brownish in it that I didn't like. So I ended up ordering uh, the next color, which is Bark. And... Uh, and what a difference. I love this color. And it's actually the color that Westman Atelier wears on herself, uh, which is interesting because she does have a little more brown in her. However, uh, she likes to go a little darker than the color will call for. I'm swatching both so you see the, the difference in color. So this one is clay and this one is bark. So you see the clay has a little bit of yellowish or reddish or blondish. And the other one, um, it's not necessarily like for dark brown, even though that's what they advertise it for. I mean, I guess I could, but it does have a little grayish in it. I don't know if you can see. So it's gray, dark brown, uh, but it works for my eyebrows. So that color was it. She only has four colors. So that is the two center ones, if you might. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what I did. I applied some um, mascara, some Clay de Peau, which is drying up on me, which for that, I have this tool. You know when sometimes the mascara uh, kind of bumps up? I have this Sigma Lash Fan EO4. I don't know if you are familiar with this brush, but it's so useful for those days where you clump up and then you just kind of go like this through your mascara. And right now it allow it to dry a little bit, so it will be harder. But when it is uh, wet and you're climbing up, you pull it out and you just kind of clean your, especially down here. You see what I'm doing? So you clean up the clumps and it has been so useful. I don't pull it out often and I actually ordered two by accident back on the day. So now I have two of this. <laughs> but uh, but when I do need it, it's, it's useful. So there you have it. So now let's get to our next goodie. So far, I like it. I like the combination of the bronzer, Gucci, of course, that goes with everything, with creams, with powders, with everything. I did like the Victoria Beckham the roller skate because it did give me that mm. and then i am gonna try the new um this is from pat mcgrath it's called veil rose this is part of the um bridget on two collection this is a mid-tone rose the mid-tone of the blues and uh i haven't tried it with you guys so here i am i did mention it uh, on my last video when it was all about Pat McGrath and the different textures of lipsticks. That was so useful to me. I hope it was useful to you. So this is the color I'm applying. I think it's gorgeous. I think the two mid-tones, uh, this one and the one that is peach something. Which one is this? Nothing negligee. This is very nice if you like the the very nude sort of look, but the Venusian Peach. So this too, I really recommend. Let me swatch Venusian Pink next to it. So you see, this is more peachy, this is more rosy. So you have both at that kind of simple tone, but it'll go with everything you own. I do recommend this to lipsticks for sure. So there you have it. Now last, um, I'm gonna try the Laura Mercier, the new one on top. So here it is. I'll swatch it in my, oh. this one is so beautiful. I tried it already through the weekend. Okay, this is with, this is without. 
So it enhanced a little bit the look. Let me apply it a little bit in my forehead that I don't have the other color. Do you see it? Okay, let me apply a little bit here. So I'm gonna swatch it for you, but this is with and this is without. Let's see now. Yeah, so it definitely has some ink to it, some ink. Okay, some color to it, but it is highlight. It is gorgeous. So this reminded me, and let's swatch it. Oh no, is it over there? Let me go and get it. This reminded me a lot of the Dior Dantella that I've been praising so much, not just me, several YouTubers, but let's swatch them next to each other. Now, the reviews on the Laura Mercier uh, blushes have been outstanding and I don't own any of them. I tried one the other day at Sephora and Sangria. It was very red, but I really, really like it. So this one is Antelia Dior and this one is Laura Mercier. So it seems that the color is almost the same, but the Laura Mercier has a highlighter on it. Do you see that? So it really brings you up, especially uh, now that we're going with all those highlighter things. Um, and what I'm talking about is like the, uh, you know, Westman Atelier, uh, super loaded tinted, like the Chantecai New Bronzer. They all have this sort of highlight with them. The lead up from Westman Atelier, what you put it under, gives this effect. So because we are so into that kind of highlighting, uh, mostly for the summer. I'm sure once the fall comes, we're gonna start getting more on the mats, etc. cetera. So, um, and when I look at this in real life, the Dior Dantelli has a tiny little bit more of pink. But again, I mean, look at that. I don't think you could really tell on the cheeks, but look how beautiful. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. So this is the final look. I hope you like this. I think this looks beautiful. I love the Lara Mercier blush. I'm so tempted to get many other colors. I love, like I recommended, the Pat McGrath two lipsticks. I love the Westman Atelier eyebrow pencil. Of course, the Victoria Beckham eyeliners. You can never go wrong. I like uh, her new, the Roller Skate blush, which is fun for the summer. So I really like this look. What do you guys think? Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right hand corner. Please comment down below, thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.